but strive first for the kingdom of god but strive first for the kingdom of god and his righteousness and his righteousness and all these things will be given to you as well and all these things will be given to you as well my dear brothers and sisters what is the meaning of this word of god strive first for the kingdom of god where is this kingdom where is this kingdom of god the lord bible says kingdom of god is in you what does it mean what is a kingdom means kingdom means there is a king who rules the whole country or the whole nation a king who has who is sovereign power in that country or a nation a king and he has a rule and a law which the whole country people has to follow all the people in the country has to follow the rules and regulation a king who is overall in charge of the whole nation and that is called kingdom where a king is ruling that country now kingdom of god means a place or a nation or a body which is ruled and governed and controlled by god if kingdom of god is in you means you are a body which is controlled by god you are a body not you are in charge god is in charge your body god takes decision not you take decision and in your body god is the ultimate authority and he decides and we follow i you follow so when you enter into such experience such feeling such a uh, belief and then you have kingdom of god in you unless we surrender ourselves and abandon ourselves to the complete ruling of the king that is god himself we will never experience kingdom of god so if you really believe that kingdom of god has come to you then you are not the king of your body you are not the king of your decisions you are not the king of everything that happens in your life you are not the king of any permission any decision you take you need the permission of the king any plan you have you need to discuss with your king any future plans that you want you should discuss and speak to the king and anything that you do should be under the control of the king and any decision any relationship that you establish should be ap- approved by the king only then you can say you are a, you are in the kingdom of god so now through this word of god jesus says first be a kingdom of strive to become a kingdom of god strive to bring the kingdom of god in you that is why when we pray our father pray we say let your kingdom come let your kingdom come in us that means you go, you are going to rule over our life you are going to take decisions for us you are going to plan for us the problem today is we plan and then we decide when there is complication we ask god we 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 have our own desires we fulfill our desires and when there is problem we call god we hire god god is not the king he is only a broker so this doesn't help us we have not yet experiencing the kingdom of god that is why jesus said first let the kingdom of god come let the kingdom comes in you then search for his righteousness and all these things will be given to you all your blessings will be ready and all the problems will be solved everything will be settled first you king let the kingdom come praise the lord praise the lord my dear brothers and sisters examine your conscience and see do you have a king in your body who controls you or do you think you are the king and queen if you are the king and if you are the queen then you are far from, from the kingdom of god one day one person came and said which are the commandments and then jesus told the commandments and he explained the commandments and he said i have obeyed all these things and then jesus said you are not far from the kingdom so my dear brothers and sisters when we are obedient to the rule of the king we are not far from the kingdom but 
normally we have our own rules we decide it's okay today it's okay to break this sin today we um, confess commit this sin today it's okay to do all these things everybody is doing so why not i so when when you decide decide like this in our own personal life then we are making ourselves judge and the king then we are far from the kingdom when we are obedient to the king's rules we are closer to the kingdom praise the lord praise the lord so examine your conscience and see do we have this kingdom of god in us we do really pray every day let your kingdom come 